Hello folks, Craighawk Small Fry Aquarium Fish. If you're not already a subscriber, I sure would appreciate it if you would be. If you are a subscriber, please hit the bell notification so you can get updates from me if you've already done both of those. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. What you are looking at right now are my L046s scooting in and out of caves and behind um, cutaways and things like that because I threw in some brine shrimp because I wanted to taunt them out and uh, take pictures of them for you. What I'm also going to do though is slide to my right because what I really wanted to do is talk to you about bristle nose plecos but since I saw that the 46s were out I thought I would take some pictures of those. As I slide to the right, the 46s will absolutely disappear. And in this tank, I have albino short fin. But what's really interesting is the mass of fry that are at the bottom wiggling around on the green beans. Now, why is that interesting? Well, I have probably six tanks now that are all fried up. And the way I did that was started with one tank that had egged up, took about two gallons of water out almost per day, and shared it among all these other tanks. And the next thing you know, you've got fry of plenty. I'm going to walk you across the fish room here just because I really have no interest in editing. And I'll, I'll cover this up so I don't bounce you around. I know people find that very annoying. And... I don't blame you. I find it annoying too. So these are long fin albinos that are egged up. What's interesting about them is some of these guys actually have riders on them. Puts me sort of in mind of uh, discus even though they're not actually eating the slime layer or anything like that. But um, the bristle nose are actually that friendly. They'll allow that sort of thing to happen. In the cave that you see the snail on right there, there's a male actually with fry in there and it's the second grouping I actually think most of the fry are out of there and he's just not smart enough to to come out but there is a female that's kind of waiting to romance him there these are the albino fry I didn't get a lot of them out of there because I think it was their first hatch and then the super red long fins are right here got quite a few of those guys and it all started with them I started stealing water and passing it around I'm not gonna bother you with the other tanks you kind of know what those look like I've seen them before so try that trick if you are really looking to get something going and you can get anything breeding at all in your tanks steal some water it seems to bring on the festivities Okay, this is a longer than average video for me. Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Catch you next time. Bye.